Good morning. My name is Felicity March and some of you know me as Flick. I'm the Resilience and Security Director for IBM Services. I look after resilience and security across EMEA and have been passionate about this topic for the whole of my technology career. During this pandemic, of course, it has become more and more and more in desperate need to make sure that we keep our technology running. It is the only revenue stream that companies have at the moment, or a lot of companies have. So when technology goes down, the revenue stops. And the problem is, is companies are still focused on their recovering on their technology stack only. Add that to the fact that backup and disaster recovery is not the sexiest part of the IT industry or certainly hasn't been up until now. We are realizing that companies are not focusing on their disaster recovery plans in a proper critical perspective, but it's just a nice to have or an insurance policy. And I hear a lot of companies saying, yeah, we did DR test last year, or was it the year before? Or we did DR on six of the apps, assuming that the other two and a half thousand apps have the ability to recover, or we just do backup, but it's just the basic backup. And actually you find that it hasn't really been backing up that well, or we even find companies that aren't backing up correctly. I mean, hey, let's face it, backup is easy and restore is incredibly hard. So this leaves us a, in a resilience technical debt. We have a lot of companies that not only know, don't know how to recover, they haven't tested that recovery and even worse when I say what's your minimum viable company, what processes do you need to run to make sure you can maintain your core purpose and integrity, your brand, should I say, they find that they do not know what the critical processes are that they need to be focusing on to make sure that company can continue to survive. The ones that do understand high level, you know, retailer website will know exactly what they need to keep running to keep receiving the orders. They may not know what systems and services they need to make sure they can deliver those orders. What we then find is the ones that do know what the key processes are when I ask them what technology people and processes they're reliant on to make sure that process continues to function. The answer is I don't know, Flake. And some even go white because they say, Flick, I know I've got 45,000 PCs, 4,000 servers, two and a half thousand applications, but I've never thought about it from a business process perspective and the hybrid platform approach that you need to have to make sure that you can bring all the various different technologies up that may be on-prem. They might be private cloud, they might be public cloud, or there may be infrastructure being run by a supplier courtesy of the outsourcing bubble that we had over the last 20 years and everybody is just focusing on those overall technology towers. Even worse, when I say to companies, talk to me about your asset database. I haven't found one in 220 companies that say, yes, we know every single asset, we know every single application. More as like as not, they say we have SaaS solutions in the business that the IT team did not even know about because they've been bought by HR or bought by another part of the company and they're being run. So they don't understand what critical systems need to continue to function. And even worse, when I start talking about what's your RTO and your RPO to make sure you can recover at the speed you need to, the answer is I don't know. We would have to test it and have a catastrophic yet plausible attack to work out how long it would take us to have a multiple system failure recovery. So we are sitting in a, what I believe, and I truly do believe this, a very large ticking time bomb. We will have another cyber attack that actually has a failure of multiple companies. And when that happens, we'll find out that a lot of companies, when they go to their restore, they find that actually they have the ability to restore or their ability to restore takes so long that it is going to cause them a detrimental effect on their revenue, or should this be a major attack, and we'll talk about cyber now, you find that you cannot restore. So let me talk to you about cyber. 